soft versus hard edges. Let's talk about it. Yesterday, I showed you guys a super brief demonstration about the difference between hard and soft lines with watercolor. I really love this painting because it has a combination of soft and hard edges in the clouds in those mountains. So the mountain ridge has a hard edge where the cloud is behind it. But where those clouds start to come over the edge of that ridge, it becomes a soft line. And then where the cloud is just lingering in front of the mountain, it is a combination of hard and soft edges. So in this painting, I had to play around with and keep an eye on the moisture of the underlayer. Where there is a soft edge, I paint it onto a dry underlayer, and where there is a hard edge, I had to paint onto a dry underlayer. I also went in with a very fine line around those beautiful little structures to create a hard line and make sure they pop out of the background. So this little piece is a great example of a landscape that has soft and hard edges. Well, what do you think?